Hello there, good afternoon. My name is Baba Tando. I have the latest in the world of sports. Let's get talking right here, right now. And we begin on a very positive and vibrant note because finally there's a medal for Ghana at the 2018 Commonwealth Games uh, ongoing in Gold Coast, Australia. And it came from a likely source. Now, Jesse Latte picked bronze in the 64 kilogram lightweight uh, welterweight division in boxing win their first medal at the 2018 Commonwealth Games in Gold Coast, Australia. Jesse Latte picked up bronze in the 64 kg lightweight welterweight division, despite his controversial defeat to Canada's Thomas Bloomingfield at the Oxenford Studios. Per the judges' score, Latte lost all five rounds, 35-27, 29-28, 30-27, 30-21, and 30-27. However, Latte's performance in the division ties him at third place together with England's Luke McCormack, who lost to Namibian Jonas Jonas in the second semi-final bout. With two days to go, Latte's win means Ghana has equaled its best record of clinching a bronze medal at Glasgow in 2014. Now, even the bronze medal won by Jesse Latte for Ghana will not be enough to cover the dents that has been created by this um, alleged visa racketeering um, issue, scandal that has befallen Ghana uh, in the games. And also the fact that um, there were agitations by a section of um, Team Ghana's athletic delegation um, over some unpaid bonuses. But Chelsea says today is communications director of the Ghana Olympic Committee. And uh, he tells Shoy Sports that all monies owed athletes have been paid and has expressed disappointment with the attitude of the athletes. Um, we at the GOC and the ministry, we are disappointed at the action taken by uh, athletes led by Bocho Nkegbe. Uh, we made him the captain because we felt he's a matured guy. We made him the captain because of his experience. Unfortunately, he's demonstrated that um, he's not matured to lead the team. But, but is uh, he right? Is, is there some truth? Yes, that yes, their money yes. Have not been paid? Yes, there's money in camp. The, there's a reason for which it wasn't paid. The, the, there was a reason and um, I'm disappointed to revolt um, I don't think was was necessary and um, I must say that uh, going to the extent of you know encouraging athletes to 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 run and not come to Ghana you know uh, is just unfortunate um, we will take a decision on what Bucho has done but as we speak every outstanding bonus has been paid to the athletes. That was immediately after their revolt? Well, we had to. Uh, we, we, we had to pay. Uh, we didn't want them to keep money on them, so much money on them. It was why um, we decided... Money's delayed. So, so, money, so isn't there a suggestion that Bocho had tried all means to get the money and it no. wasn't coming and that's why he used this as the last approach? No, no. I think it was something, you know, they had planned. And we would meet Bocho, find out why he did that, and uh, we'll take the matter up. So a little back onto the story and why you keep hearing Bocho in Kegbe, Bocho in Kegbe is that... Um, um, all athletes were to be paid an amount of $2,100 each for the duration of their stay in Gold Coast, um, Australia. So um, they were giving $500 at first um, because they went to Gold Coast quite um, earlier than expected. And for the duration of the games, um, they had to be paid $1,000. $1,200 each and then later on um, they were owed $400 once again for the prolonged stay inside Australia and so um, because of the $400 Bocho Inkegbe who happens to be Team Ghana's captain said um, he, was, he actually led uh, you know, a demonstration, some sort of a strike and they nearly boycotted the rest of the games uh, you know, um, in, in Gold Coast and so that's how come the Ghana Olympic Committee has, the Ghana Olympic Committee has had to rush to go settle the $400 owed each athletes, making it $2,100 in all for every one of the 72 athletes representing Ghana in Gold Coast. Now let's do some Champions League uh, action before I go and um, the draw has been done and um, the die is cast for the semi-final of the competition and uh, you probably would want to describe this as the final before the final because everybody would have expected or lots of sports pundits would have expected that um, Real Madrid probably would face Bayern Munich in the final of, of the competition but that is not the case and um, one of them would progress to the finals at the other's expense. So in the semi-finals uh, for this season's Champions League, Real Madrid will be facing Bayern Munich, And then Liverpool, they take on AS Roma. Um, so the 
FC uh, that uh, Bayern München will first host Real Madrid and then the following week um, Real Madrid will go play the second leg at the Santiago Bernabeu and then for Liverpool they host Roma first at Anfield and then um, travel uh, to you know to Rome uh, the, the following week to play in the second leg. So um, these are the matches uh, uh, that will be that will be looking forward to in the semi final of the 2018 UEFA Champions League. So that's more on the sports page of myjoyonline.com. I tweet at the handle uh, at Barbatando. Same for Instagram. For now, sports is done. Good afternoon.